Okay, so before you start, um, these are the tools that you'll need to get this project done. You'll need a the case kit for the Orange Pi PC. You'll need some thermal pads. You'll need some heat sinks. That's the CPU heat sink. This is the heat sink for the memory. And um, this is for, this is a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. This is an orange pie PC. And you'll need fans also. The case uh, came with the fan, the case kit. And you'll need, a, you'll need some pliers. And you should have something like this, an Altoid can thing to put all the s screws and stuff so you don't lose them. Okay, in today's video, I will be install. I will be uh, putting this case on an Orange Pi single board computer. So let's begin. Let's see if the camera's in focus. Okay. That looks good. So these are the pieces that come with the case. They come in kit form like this. The first thing you have to do is you need to remove the film. See, you gotta remove the film sticker or whatever. You just remove it for all of them, basically. I don't have, I just recently cut my nails, so it's kind of hard to get it out. But you just get all the film out like that for all the pieces. After you remove all the plastic, it looks like this compared to. Uh, Compared to this, I haven't removed the plastic from that. So for a piece like this, get it from like the edge and then peel it off. It's easier to get off that way. Just start from here, this part, and then just peel it off from there. Okay, I got all the plastic wrappings out. I'm gonna throw that away. So now I have to install this case. In my Raspberry Pi. Not Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi. Okay. Just cut that with my uh, scissors. Just, just like that. There's the board. First thing we have to do is we need to assemble this. It fits like a jigsaw puzzle, basically. So I'm gonna take a look at this. And see how this goes in. Goes like that, okay. And goes in like that. Just gonna look at the bottom part. This is where we have to mount the screws. See the 
other side how this goes. that and you just hook it in check the other side the last part okay it goes in that way Okay, that's how the four sides go in. We got the bottom and then the top. See so yeah, how the bottom goes in. Good thing I already have one that was put together. Okay, it goes in that way. I think I want to first put the board in here. Next thing I want to do is I want to align the bottom part to the board. So the way it goes in is like this. You see this indent part. It aligns with the network board like that. And then we want to get the screws in. So the way we do that is we get the standoff get the screws in like this and the standoff on the bottom as you can see this thing goes on the bottom and then we just align it with the board and get it in just like that Last one on the bottom. Stand off, off on top. And then we align it to the board like this. So let me see if that's correct. Okay, it looks correct. So we just align it like that and get it get it on there like that. The next thing we have are these things and then we put it in all four sides just get it in, in with your hands first your, your fingers and we'll tighten it later with it, with the Phillips screwdriver and these pliers use that last So okay, that's in. Should 
go in relatively eas easily like this. Okay, now I want to tighten it. So to do that, we want to use these pliers to hold this. And on the back, we have screws for uh, Phillips screws right here on all four sides. So we want to hold it with this. So it stays still and then just tighten it with this until it's on there firmly you don't have to over tighten it or anything like that just same thing here good now I'm gonna get the other sides same thing this side as well, this part. Okay, that looks good I think. I'll just make sure. Okay, that's on firmly. Now I don't need the pliers anymore. So now what we have to do is align this to the case or the frame. So now I'm gonna take this out first. So I know which orientation it goes in. This side here, bottom, so it goes in like this. As you can see, there's these tabs right here, they align to here, and you get it in. Just snaps in like so. This side, get out like that, and I want to align these here as well until they snap in like that. Next thing is, I want to get this in from the bottom. We're going to start from the bottom to the top. Get one side and then get the other side, like that. Make sure it snaps in like that. And then same thing with the other side. Make sure we get the right orientation like that. Same thing from the bottom, hook it from the bottom, hook it from the bottom like this. Let me get a better camera angle. Okay. 
and then snap it in from the top. First one's in, second one's in. Now this part is assembled. The next thing we want to do is we want to put the fan in here. Good thing I got a sample here, which I could use as a kind of kind of a template or something. Um, Want to get this in? Before you do that, almost forgot. Let me release this from the top. Get this part out, and then let me let me redo that. Okay, release that. Now I'm gonna get this in. Now I got it in like that, so now I'm going to put this part back in. Snap this bottom part in. And now we've got to get the front part in. So hook it from the bottom to the top, now it's in. Now this thing is assembled. However, we do have to get the fan in. So we're not done yet. Using that as a template. Let's see. So we want the fan orientation like this. So it wants you want to blow the air in, not blow it out like that. So in basically. This part is the top that part's the bottom just like that so the way we do this is we get one of the screws in bottom like that and then we use I'm sorry, I screwed up. So we get the screws in like this. Just like that. And then we tighten it with with these things. Again, it's very hard to do on camera, but not easy, not hard to do when you just do it. So I'm gonna get it in off off camera, and I'll show you basically. Okay, now I got them all in like that, and we're gonna tighten it. So we need the pliers again. Pliers, and we want to use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten it. Like how I did with the bottom of the case. Hold it like that, screw it in. Until it's nice and firm, don't over tighten it.
Okay, that's good. So that's in. So the next thing we want to do is get these wires in the GPIO pin header. Um, let me check. That's how it goes in. So red is is there. Red and black. So red goes into the second pin and the black goes into the third pin. I think uh, black is negative, red is positive, okay? I think it's five volts, just like so. said red and black just like that goes in only one way just like so and now I have a assembled orange pie PC case just like that that's as simple as that so all you got to do, and next thing you have to do is you need to put the heat sinks on. So let's open it up like that. And I have some heat sinks. Three of them. Just remove this and stick it in basically. Remove that. So I want to use some thermal pads like this. Check this out. I'm going to stick it onto CPU first. And then put my heat sink on that, just like that. Next thing, I want to put it into the two memory chips. These are the two heat sink for the RAM modules. Just take that off. I haven't completely taken it off. The whole thing has to come off. Just like that. Do the same thing with the other one. Okay, so I got the tape off that. Then use thermal pads again for both of the memory modules. I think they're 512 megabytes one in there Put the heat sink on. First one. Okay, and the second one I'm going to put in. Just like that. So 
so now they're both in there. And now it's completely assembled. Should be able to use it just by sticking in a micro SD card with some with a image of operating system on it. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, you could leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.